Konnichiwa, and welcome to the official weigh-ins for the Glory Super Fight Series and Glory 13 Tokyo. We are excited to have you with us this afternoon. The bout that will actually serve as our headline event for the Super Fight Series pits the number one and number two world-ranked featherweights together, Mosab Amrani and Yuta Kubo. Mosab comes in ranked number two, representing Morocco. 64.9 for Omrani. His opponent comes in the number one rank, Glory World Featherweight, Yuta Kubo, the reigning Glory Featherweight Tournament Champion. He won all three of his fights here at Ariaki. 64.9 for Yuta Kubo. Another pair of welterweights out for our next weigh-in. It is Artur Koshenko versus Ken Moon. Arthur Koshenko, it looks like. His record, 54 wins, 11 losses, one bout scored even, makes his glory debut here in Japan. 77 even for Arthur Koshenko. Now here is his opponent, Ken Moon, making his glory debut. He comes with 24 wins, 18 of those 24 wins, by the way, by knockout. 77.2 for Ken Moon. 77 even. Our next bout is a rematch of an extra round Glory 2 fight in Brussels back in 2012. It's Anderson Silva and Rene Bonyaski. Let's get Anderson Silva onto the scales first. 113 even. Here's his opponent from the Netherlands, Rene Bonyaski. 108 even for Remy. Tomorrow in the Super Fight Series. We'll stick with the heavyweights and to bring out Hesdy Gergis and Everton Teixeira. We'll get Hesdy onto the uh, scales first. Representing Egypt, 42, 13 and 1, 19 knockouts. 107.6 kilos for Hesdy Gergis. <laughs> Everton Teixeira. Everton coming off of a long layoff since 2010. Nine and three in his uh, kickboxing career, making his glory debut. 110.2. This is the way our uh, Super Fight Series begins tomorrow at Ariaki. It's Jerome LeBanner and Sergei Haratonov. Let's get Sergei onto the scales. He comes in uh, representing Russia, ranked number 11 in the Glory World Ranking. 122.2 kilos for Sergei. Jerome LeBanner will, uh, is on his way, we understand, and will be here. Before we get to our tournament participants, we bring you another Super Fight at a catch weight. It will be Dustin Jacoby and Makoto Uehara. Dustin Jacoby, uh, representing the United States, comes in number 10 ranked in the glory rankings right now. 90 kilos even for Dustin Jacoby. His opponent, Makoto Uehara. Makoto making his uh, glory debut. His record, 15 wins, 4 losses, 1 draw, 9 of those knockouts for the money board. 90.3 for Uehara. Next on to the scales, a uh, rematch of a 2010 tournament bout between Errol Zimmerman and Daniel Gita. Errol, at the young age of 25, amazingly, 101 wins, 10 losses, one draw, 42 big wins by knockout. That's why they call him the Bone Crusher. 108.6. His opponent, Daniel Gita, 49 and 10, 38 big knockouts. The Savage Samurai says 2014 is going to be the biggest year of his career. 113.6. Daniel Gita, Errol Zimmerman. Daniel Gita, so say, Errol Zimmerman, thank you very much. Thank you. This next bout is a tournament reserve bout, which uh, will give us, uh, provide us with a fighter in case of tournament injury. It will actually be moved up into our Super Fight Series. It's Alexander Stetsarenko and Karim Gaji. Stetsarenko, now ranked number five in the glory rankings, 48 and eight with 24 knockouts on his career record. 76.8, Karim Gaji. Gadget Boy comes with a record of 93 wins, nine losses, one draw, 49 of those 93 wins by way of knockouts. 77.5 for Karim Gadget. Next up, it is our welterweight tournament. These are the four combatants that will be battling for the $100,000 in prize money in a welterweight world championship tournament with Nikki Holtzkin and Katapet, Katapetian. Nikki Holtzkin, of course, comes in number one ranked in the Glory World rankings on a seven-fight knockout streak. 77.2 for Nikki Holtzkin. Katapet, Katapetian. Katapet, 42-8-2. He's undefeated in two prior Glory appearances. 
76.3 for Cotapet. As a footnote to this, all of our uh, welterweight tournament uh, fighters have yet to lose in glory. They are all undefeated in their glory appearances. Winner of that bout, of course, will play and take on the winner of our second semifinal. It's Joseph Valtellini and Raymond Daniels. Calls himself the real deal. Raymond, real deal Daniels. Undefeated in his record as a professional. 24 wins, 14 of those by knockout. 76.7 for Daniels. His opponent also undefeated 3-0 in glory, 10-1 as a pro, 9 of those 10 professional wins by knockout. Currently ranked number 2 in the world by glory, it's Bazooka Joe Valtellini. 77-1 for Valtellini. So ladies and gentlemen, these are the four men vying for a glory welterweight world championship tournament. $100,000 in prize money up for grabs. Four men, one night, only one will walk away. Tournament world champion for glory. Following our final of the welterweight tournament, a very emotional night as Peter Art says goodbye to his Japanese fans and what a matchup. We have the reigning heavyweight tournament champion taking on Peter Arts tomorrow night. Let's get Rico onto the scales. Rico now uh, ranked number four in the Glory World Rankings. As we mentioned, he's coming off of wins over uh, both uh, Saki and Gita in Chicago, and he is the reigning heavyweight tournament champion. 116 Hi. even for Peter, or excuse me, for Rico Verhoeven. The legendary Peter Arts with a career record of 103 wins, 30 losses, one draw, 78 knockouts for the Dutch Lumberjacks. 104.6 for Peter Arts. Peter, of course, one of only four men to win the World Grand Prix three times. He's also a three-time runner-up. All right, that concludes our official weigh-in for the events tomorrow at Ariaki Coliseum. We hope everyone will come and attend. Arigato, thank you so much for coming and being a part of our official weigh-in.